Leap is a privately owned independent automation company with a focus on LC, LCMS, GC, GCMS related sample prep and injection applications. We are CTC Analytics official North American dealer. LEAP has taken in the past uh, 20 years the, the CTC equipment beyond the auto sampler functionality and has made it a true low cost, flexible, robotic platform. Some of the innovation, innovative accessories represented incremental improvements to the PAL's performance. Others were more substantial. What we are talking about in this presentation is much more substantial and future-oriented. LEAP is now introducing two no new versions of the LC and LCMS workhorses called HDC and HDC PAL. These will bring us once more to the forefront in the constant challenge for higher throughput and near zero carryover in sample loading. LEAP is releasing with CTC support several significant improvements in these XT versions of the PAL. Both PALs contain the new state-of-the-art electronic board with firmware 4.0. They also include the dynamic load and wash option called DLW uh, instead of the fast wash station that you are familiar with. The PAL firmware is backwards compatible with all objects of previous firmware versions. The existing standard versions of the HTS and HTC continue to be options in our program. From a more visual perspective, the XT versions are the same as the well-known HDC and HDS PALs, except for the DLW components that we are explaining today. The most notable element is the wash solvent supply line that connects the left side of the PAL cross trail with the injection head. So why the DLW? With the increased insensitivity of new mass specs, the lower limits of detection have gone down. And levels of carryover which were previously undetectable are now interfering with the results. Not everyone deals with such difficult sticky compounds or analyte matrix, which are challenging in terms of carryover. But the auto sampler performance should never be the limiting factor when handling these compounds. The desire for high throughput has also minimized sample prep steps. This emphasizes the need for low carryover. The PAL has a very advantageous direct syringe sampling concept, which you may be familiar with. Precision and reproducibility are important when small sample volumes are available and partial loop fill is desirable. Removing carryover has typically required washing steps where the syringe itself is used to move liquid. Extensive washing using this method can therefore be a very time-consuming operation. The DLW represents an advancement in the injection process of the PAL which reduces carryover dramatically without affecting throughput or requiring large amount of solvent use. The syringe is no longer in direct contact with the sample. Just a word about previous options. Many of you may have heard uh, of these. Over many years, LEAP has offered carryover reduction measures such as the LMARC and X-type syringes with coated needles. Also, the valve self-wash and the active wash from CTC, which actively pump wash solvent independently of the syringe. Also, special injection cycles, which allow dipping of the outside of the needle in the wash before injection and washing of the valve rotor after injection, 
These were known as the LC clean cycles. All this past experience at LEAP and CTC has resulted in the development of this new and innovative device, the dynamic load and wash system. With the DLW, two main objectives are achieved. Firstly, higher throughput. And secondly, effectively keeping the inject injection system clean. The most important change is that the sample does not make direct contact with the syringe. It stays in the needle and in a, a loop of retention tubing. After the injection is made, the needle and inlet are washed before the syringe is removed. This gives a maximum chance to flush sample through the valve waste port and avoids drawing the concentrated sample back up into the inlet. It also has options to do dip washing of the needle before injection, as well as to wash the valve rotor by toggling the valve while, the, while pumping the solvent. This is how the DLW looks on the PAL injection head. One other new feature is that the sampling needle is spring-loaded. This ensures that it will firmly seat in the valve inlet sleeve during the sample loading onto the loop. And most of you know that this is a critical feature to eliminate dead volume in the inlet during injection. I would like to describe briefly the different components of the, up, of the DLW. This is the upgrade kit, which is, uh, can be applied to existing PALs. It's not only available in the new XT versions of the HTC and HTS, but is offered as this, this kit. The kit consists of a new electronics board for the PAL and these three sub-assemblies, as well as of course, the macros and cycles required to control the DLW.